that's the race we thought would never happen. It's the Dunlop for a senior TT, a full six laps. Connor Cummins, the first man away from the start. We've got good conditions, the best conditions, in fact, we've had all week for the six lap senior. Dean Harrison, is this his moment? All week we've seen Harrison and Hickman slog it out through the various races that we've managed to squeeze in between the clouds. Is today the day that Dean Harrison takes a win or is it Michael Dunlop's day? Michael Dunlop's had a very tough TT fortnight so far. Can he turn it all around for the big one? It's the one everybody wants to win. 225 miles. It's the most prestigious road race in the world. Peter Hickman, he's the odds-on favourite. He certainly is. Michael Rutter on the RCV, looking and sounding great, but not quite on the pace this week. James Hillier, he's had a moment under brakes, looks like the back wheel lifted off the ground. He had to let the brake off, he's run deep. He's actually overshot at Bellacrane traffic lights. He'll have to turn around. Head back onto the course. He's lost a massive amount of time there. And he's lost time on the leaderboard and he's lost position on the road. Michael Dunlop passing John McGuinness going out of the gooseneck. John McGuinness is another one who's had an unhappy TT. Now that Norton certainly wasn't working for John there. Not what we're accustomed from, from the king of the mountain, John McGuinness. Peter Hickman has uh, made a bid to be considered the new king of the mountain. Uh, in the short term, but Dean Harrison's doing his best to upset it, but at the moment it's Hickman who's making all the running, and it's Hickman who's edging away from Dean Harrison. He's doing it on every sector. Hey, Hickman out past Gary Johnson, slipstreams him up the mountain. Dean Harrison starts another lap, wondering where he can get on terms with Peter Hickman, because Hickman's fast now out on the run from here through Glen Helen towards Ramsey and he's fast again over the mountain. He's always been fast over the mountain, hasn't he? Oh, there we have it. John McGuinness pulling in at the bungalow. The motor of the Norton's still running, but he has called it a day. Hickman closing in on other riders. Is that James Hillier? Yes, it is. Certainly is up the inside through Balagheri. Oh, and there's a little bit of a race going on here as well. So lots of riders traveling together, but they are spread out on the timesheets and the people who are close together on the timesheets will probably never see each other. Absolutely, we've got, just like the senior last, last year, we've got another epic battle on our hands between Peter Hickman and Dean Harrison. Hickman just continues to edge the gap a little further away from Dean Harrison. Dean Harrison, Riding as smoothly and as well as he's ever done, just hasn't got any reply at the moment. That doesn't mean he won't stop trying. You can see he's still pushing by the body language. It's Connor Cummins in uh, third place. This is Michael Dunlop. He's in fourth place. He's losing touch with Connor Cummins. And Connor Cummins is losing touch with Dean Harrison. It's Jamie Coward on the press racing Yamaha R1 doing a great job. Tucked in and climbing away from the goose deck towards the pit stops. Dean Harrison, big fill. Yep, here we go. 23, 24 litres of fuel, fresh rear tyre. Clean the screen, new helmet visor, little drink, an energy oh. bar. Ah, oh, and there we see returning TT great Ian Hutchison has retired, he's off the bike. And Dean Harrison's back on and back out on to that drop off the edge of the world in Bray Hill. Michael Dunlop in the pit and back with Peter Hickman. We'll see if Peter Hickman can gain any time or will he lose any time on his rival Dean Harrison in the pit stop. As he leaves the pits, it looks like Michael Dunlop just got out of his way, let him pass, so he's probably done that. So he can jump on the back and get a toe from Peter Hickman, the fastest man on course at the current time. Or is he? Because Michael Dunlop's back in front of him. Has Peter Hickman got an issue here? Well, it certainly sounds like he does because you can hear that S1000RR BMW is not revving as hard as it was earlier. It seems that Peter Hickman has slowed. He's having an issue. And he's had a big issue. 
whatever it is, whether it's a recurrence of that uh, water leak that he had at the beginning of the week in practice or not, the gap to Dean Harrison is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Michael Dunlop and Connor Cummins ahead of him aren't going to benefit. As we see Dean Harrison down into the nook for the final time. He's staring straight down the barrel at his first ever senior TT win. This will be the greatest moment in Dean Harrison's motorcycle racing career as he comes up to take the chequered flag. He's won at the TT before, but there is nothing quite like winning the senior race. Dean Harrison on the top step holds the greatest trophy in the world.